Welcome to Xi'an, China. I wanted to present to you a few of the foods that I have been eating here lately. And this is what I'm going to have for dinner and for breakfast in the morning. There's, there's actually a Walmart nearby where I bought this really nice looking salad. There's actually three salads here. This first one is a cucumber, kind of a pickled cucumber and carrot salad. There's a, another nice piece of vegetable here. I'm not quite certain what it is, but it's very crispy and very light. Let me turn to the second one. Here's a broccoli salad. And this white is like a rice pasta that's been cooked and chilled. And then the last one is actually my favorite. It looks like a red bean salad. So it has these, oops, we had an escape prisoner here. Uh, it looks like red beans and cubes of carrot and celery. But what it turns out to be that these things that look like beans are actually peanuts. And here, typically in China, they treat it more like the legume that it is, um, the more like a bean than than a nut. Of course, in the U.S., we call them peanuts, and we treat them like a nut. They're fried in oil. Uh, these are boiled in salt water, so they're boiled until they're soft, uh, and, and they keep the husk on the outside, but the husk also becomes soft. They don't cook them so long as we would a bean. Uh, if you could think of like a red bean that maybe you cooked only 75% of what you normally would cook it. So it's, it's soft and, and, uh, but has a, a little firmness to it and it really makes a, a wonderful salad. Uh, all of these salads have uh, probably very, very little oil on it. I'm going to lay the plate down here for a minute. If I pick one up and I hold it in my fingers for a moment, and then I'm going to set that aside. Uh, when I when I rub, there's so little oil that in no time at all it's completely dry. So if, if, if there's any oil on this salad at all, it's almost hard to detect. But it's uh, very, very healthy, not loaded down with oils and calories like we do in the U.S., where we can make an otherwise healthy salad be quite unhealthy with with so much mayonnaise and oils and that sort of thing. So let's move on then to what uh, I'm going to have to drink maybe. Uh, so here's a, a wine that I picked up. It's a, it's a, <laughs> a California. It's a Chinese Merlot. I'm not a big Merlot fan, but I was trying to find something inexpensive. The wine industry certainly is not of the stature that it is in, in the U.S. and in Europe, uh, but I was trying to find something that was affordable that I could drink a couple of times a week. So this is a, a dry Merlot. It's, it's not a great wine. I would equate it maybe to like Trader Joe's Two Buck Chuck, something that you can drink, but it also won't uh, send you to the poorhouse. Uh, and uh, the wine is about $3 a bottle. That's about uh, 1.9 euros per bottle. Oh, and before I get too far along, I'll talk about the price of the salad too. It was about uh, five yuan for a half kilogram. Uh, that's about 56 cents, 56 euro cents per half kilogram. And that equates to about 78 cents uh, in US dollars uh, per pound. So uh, 78 or 80 cents, you could think of it in that terms. So for 80 cents a pound, that's a pretty good deal. Uh, moving on to the next drink, uh, the beer in China uh, is, is much weaker than it is in Germany. It's, it's more akin to American beer uh, that, that doesn't have much strength to it. It's about 4% alcohol, and I believe it's rice-based like American beers are, uh, whereas the, the German beers are, are more traditionally barley-based. Uh, but this is a half a liter bottle. It costs uh, two and a half yuan, which is about 39 cents for a half liter bottle. Uh, and that's bigger, larger than our normal 12 ounce size. You could think of this the same size as about a 16 ounce can. So for less than 40 cents, that's a pretty good bargain. 
It's about 28 euro cents. And that's where the less expensive beers in Germany begin. So uh, again, by uh, German standards, it's about an average price. Uh, by U.S. standard, it's, it's quite inexpensive because beers and wines in the U.S. are just uh, so much more expensive than they are in the rest of the world. Uh, we kind of get raked over the coals in, in the U.S. on our uh, alcohol prices. So uh, anyway, that's our drinks. We'll look at the fruit here. This is a Chinese peach. As you can see, it looks quite similar to our own peaches. Uh, but it, but it's, it's quite different in texture. It doesn't have that really soft, juicy flavor that we prefer in the U.S. Uh, but if you think of this as more akin to a melon, you won't be disappointed in it. If I would cut a, a section out of it, which I won't do right now because I'm not ready to eat it, uh, that you would see that the texture is a little grainy. Uh, like a melon is and then also when you eat it if you can uh, imagine uh, e eating that slice uh, you would eat it up to what the, uh, would be equate to be the rind here uh, just like you would a melon so uh, they're quite flavorful but uh, a different experience than uh, what we're used to with American peaches so I, I won't say one is better than the other but just be prepared uh, that, that it's not going to be like an American peach it's going to be more like a melon so for breads, I really like these. You, you may have seen these in the U.S. in Asian markets. It's a steamed bun. They're called manto here. And they're such a bargain here uh, that, that you can buy six of these buns. You know, it's a nice size for about 24 U.S. cents or 17 euro cents. And it, it's, it's just such a bargain. Uh, the, the, uh, these are really good when they're, they're warmed up. I like to throw it into the microwave for a few moments. And they call these manto, manto here. Uh, we call them a steamed bun. But it's, it's, it's such a good bargain to, to uh, where well, you can buy four of them for one yuan or uh, you can buy six of them for one and a half yuan. And again, that's about 24 US cents. And then for dessert, but I'm actually going to have this for breakfast. Oh, don't want to knock that over. We had uh, a moon f uh, festival, or the mid-autumn festival, uh, last weekend and on Monday. It's a very big uh, Chinese holiday, uh, as, as big as Thanksgiving or Christmas is in the U.S. So uh, these are called moon cakes, and they're traditionally given out as gifts. And uh, this comes in, in, in a box, as you can see. I got this from the university. And then this box was packed six of them into a larger box with a big lid on it and then that box was put into a big shopping bag and everything is uh, coordinated with the design and the colors so it's a little bit wasteful in terms of packaging but it is such a tradition here in China and uh, let me go ahead and open this up you can see for all that packaging there's not a lot of cake that's actually very small about an inch thick uh, uh, maybe uh, uh, two and a half centimeters thick and uh, maybe three and a half or four centimeters wide, about two and a half inches. Uh, and they're very, very rich. They're, they're very high in calories. Uh, this probably has 450 calories in it. But the, uh, traditionally what they do, uh, uh, well, there's, there's various flavors. Uh, say in that box that I got, there's probably uh, six different flavors. This one might have lemon on the inside, another might have raisin. Some of them even have uh, uh, meats and uh, even seafood. I, I'm not uh, particularly crazy about those, but the point is that, that there's lots of different flavors. So at a, a family gathering, you would take some of these and probably slice it into six pieces, put toothpicks in them, and then the family members could come by and, and take one uh, little slice of this one and uh, another slice of the two or three of the others uh, to get a sampling. So it's, it's, it's quite a big deal here in China because of, of the traditional holiday. Uh, and uh, again, it's probably about 450 calories. But uh, I've been eating these uh, for breakfast in the morning. Uh, and I'll have one in the morning before I teach my classes. And then I usually don't eat again until that evening. So uh, uh, 450 calories spread over eight hours isn't too much. Uh, so, uh, so that's my food for tonight. As I pick more up, I'll make another video and I'll update this in the future.